Hello, Tracy's Kitchen and Appalachian Adventure. I'm talking about why the Lord is not a money genie. And I know he has been marketed as a money genie. You know, if you give $20, you'll get $60 back. And if he's in a good mood, you might get $2,000 back, okay? Now, that's the best investment plan ever, okay? All Christians would be rich, but we know that... All Christians are not rich, and we know that um, some ministries are poor, some ministries are bankrupt, okay? Some ministries are broke, but they won't admit it. Some ministries are in debt up to their ears, but they won't admit, admit it. I can name names, okay? The only ones who are getting filthy rich are the ones who are propagating that scripture, okay, and, and misapplying that scripture, okay? They're the only ones who have $1 million homes, $2 million homes, $10 million homes, okay? All, they, all of them have luxury cars. All their children have luxury cars, okay? Uh, and I submit to you that none of them know about money because 98.9% .9 of Americans probably, uh, Americans don't know about money, okay? And they end at 98.9%. Okay, that's why the only way they can get more money is to ask for more money. They don't have sense enough to invest money. Invest in land and hotels and houses and abandoned houses and, ab and abandoned properties. They don't have that kind of sense. They don't have sense enough to uh, cost their money to make more money. And the Bible says we can do that. Uh, none of their children have a trust fund. I doubt it. Uh, they don't have a trust fund. I doubt it. The church doesn't have a trust fund. I doubt it. Okay, I'd be surprised how many, you would be surprised how many ministries are in debt up to their ears. I can name names, okay? The bar is servant to the lender, that's in Proverbs. And like I said before, I don't have an issue with tithes and the offering. I have an issue with the misapplication of the word. I don't have an issue with that. Okay, uh, uh, they talk about the give and the get economy, which is contrary to scripture. Otherwise, why would God bother to say, talk about diligence, hard work? He ordained in Genesis that we ought to work by the sweat of our brow. It takes time to grow wheat and corn. Okay, there are no quick ways to get money, uh, unless it's manipulation, of course, okay? And the Bible talks against hasty riches, okay? They're going to come to naught anyway, the hasty riches, okay? And if you give $40, you'll get 40 Four thousand back. Well, where's my check? I know y'all are asking that question. Okay, why? Because that's not how God works. Okay. Uh, Psalms one hundred four says, "Enter His gates with thanksgiving, enter His courts with praise." The Bible talks about in Genesis six days a week a man ought to work diligence, hard work, savings for three generations, children's children's children. That is three generations doing something for the poor. Okay. We ought to work by the sweat of our brow. God respects hard work. I'm going to add that. He respects hard work. He said if you obey his covenant, you would have riches, honor, and life with a capital R. If you obey his covenant. Um, if we are honest, we'll stand before the princes, okay? Uh, not because we gave so-and-so to a political campaign. We should be honest, okay? Um but all of this has been reduced to the simple give and get economy, which is just not true, okay? They're talking about what benefits them. It benefits them if we just give them money like crazy, if we give them crazy money, okay? Uh, but they don't talk about hard work, okay? Now, part two is next.